Hey everyone, I'm Justin at Beckley's RVs, and behind me, I have the best toy hauler I've ever seen. You gotta check this one out. So the 395 Momentum is, in my opinion, the best fifth wheel toy hauler living room slash kitchen of any floor plan that's available within the industry. Now here recently, you're going to see a lot of other brands that are out there that are mimicking or doing a similar type floor plan to this. Just know that the guys over at Grand Design really know what they're doing when it comes time to floor plan engineering. And when somebody does something well within the RV industry, every other manufacturer is very quick to copy exactly that. So to get started, I just wanted to point out initially how beautiful this is. This is the new 2023. They have some new cabinetry colors along with some furniture colors here. And I think the neutral tones here uh, just give it a very calming effect. I just think this is very nicely chosen. Uh, so just to point out the furniture options here first. So this is an L-shaped sofa. Uh, both of these pieces here will need to remove for travel. Uh, however, they sit directly across from your TV slash fireplace area here. Now, not only could you remove those two pieces of furniture, back behind there, you also have a trifold sofa. So you could use that as some additional sleeping if necessary. And spinning around here, I just want to point out, you have a massive slide out here with huge windows on that slide, you're going to notice you have two recliners. They both have heat massage seats in them, even with some fancy LED lights uh, to uh, accent the rest of the trailer, kind of accenting it similar to what those overhead LED lights look like there. Then you'll also notice you have a freestanding table and chairs. Uh, both of these two chairs here are foldable and they do stow away as that's where one of the pieces of furniture here are going to need to stow for travel. Now, if some of you don't really like the configuration that's here on this slide, they do have an optional five person super sofa. Uh, however, we find most people that purchase this model find that this configuration is the best for their family. So now if we pop over here to the kitchen, first thing that immediately greets me is the overhead pendant lighting. I think it's just a unique taste and touch from this very elevated space. Uh, now, if you enjoy cooking, this is probably one of the best kitchens you're going to find within a fifth wheel toy hauler. You've got loads of counter space, but the best piece to it, in my opinion, is it's out of the way. You know, it's away from the living room area here. You know, you find a lot of these fifth wheel toy haulers, your living room slash kitchen is all jammed into one area and there's just no separation. Uh, this model does a great job of keeping those two things separate. So if you enjoy that cooking area here, you're going to love these four burner cooktops with a residential sized oven here. Many people always joke that I couldn't even fit a turkey in there. Well, with this one, you certainly can. And overhead, you have a full-size residential microwave. Now spinning around here, you have an 18 cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. This does have the option to go to a residential fridge if that was important to you. And then over here, you have loads of counter space. This L-shape type counter just provides endless space for you to do whatever it is that you want to do here in the kitchen. Uh, and I have some tape here on top of the Corian countertop covers. However, underneath here, you do have a 50-50 split style sink. Uh, however, it's massive. So I think you could easily put some pots and pans on one side while you, uh, of course, take care of some of the washing on the other side. And of course, you have this massive high-rise faucet here with two sprayers to it. Just really, Grand Design has thought of everything here. So we're going to make our way up here to the bedroom, but first I must point out, you have a central vacuuming system on this model. So down below, 
this is an area where we could sweep all of our dirt, open this up, and it would all suck outside to a vacuum bag. It also comes along with a vacuuming hose that would connect to here. And that hose is roughly about the length of the entire RV, which means I could easily vacuum up front here in the bedroom, or I could even spin around and vacuum all the way out there in the garage. So I think that's just a great option for a toy hauler because most people tend to make a mess. Now, before we get up there to the bedroom, I also want to point out you have the LCI One Control touchscreen here. This gives you the ability to operate pretty much your entire RV all from the touch of a button. Uh, most RVs have switches scattered all throughout, which this still does in some cases, but it just makes it convenient that it's right here by your entrance door to be able to operate your slide outs, your air conditioners. You can even see how full your tanks are. And then it even has a master LED uh, light switch right here. There's just tons of good features that is also accessible from a cell phone app, which means we could be outside and operate many of those items just from our phone without even having to get up out of our chair. So we're entering into the master bedroom and I think they've done an excellent job here as well. The color difference from the living room to here just makes it feel like it's own unique space. You've got a gray cabinetry colors with a blue LED kind of mood style lighting, if you will. Just feels very, very comfortable up here. You have a slide out that's right here. And on that slide, you have a wardrobe space. So you're going to have tons of closet space that normally you would not get in a fifth wheel that has the bed facing this way rather than the bed facing out that way on the slide. Now, speaking of beds, this does have an optional king size bed if you wanted to. Uh, however, I don't think I would personally option that with this model because you have huge, you know, bed or night uh, nighttime table stands. So if you had sleep at machines or water or cell phones, whatever, you have tons of space here to be able to take care of that uh, versus with a king size bed. I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of room to be able to walk around. Now I'm gonna spin around here and I'm gonna show you the bathroom area in here. So part of that slide is also a little countertop space here with its own little window. But directly across, you can see you have a fully molded, it seems like a fiberglass shell on the inside of the shower. Now this is one of the best shower heads I've ever seen in my life. You have body sprayers here with multiple different functions. You even have your own little bamboo folding seat inside here. I mean, they really, really are thinking of it all. Now we're gonna spin around here and just wanna show you, there's your toilet right there in the corner. And then here is your sink along with the medicine cabinet right up and overhead. And for those of you that find having a TV in the bedroom is important, they do provide you a TV backer location right on the wall, directly across from your master bed. So next, I'm gonna show you the garage space. That's really why most people are buying a fifth wheel just like this. But before I get back there to the garage, I did wanna point out that overhead here, you have a huge bunk space. So if you had some kids, this would be a great area. Or I do get a lot of people that just simply utilize that as some additional storage for things that they don't use very often. Now, the moment we all have been waiting for. So here it is. We're greeted with a 14 foot garage. And directly in front of me here, you're gonna notice you have two booth style sofas. There is a folding table that'll go directly in the middle of them. So you could utilize this as an additional eating space. Now tonight, when everyone's ready for bed, these two sofas tumble over and create into one massive bed. And if that's not enough, up and above, there's even another bed that'll drop down below. So you have a ton of flexibility in what I call the imagination room back here. Now, if you have guests staying along with you, you also have your own bathroom in this area here. So instead of them having to come all the way up to the master suite, you have a half bath. It's not a substantial amount of room, 
but it's enough. It gives you your toilet, gives you your sink, and even has a mirror right across from it. And I even love the little touch of the window in there just to make that space feel just a little bit larger. Now, on the outside of the bathroom here, this is something that I just recently noticed, and uh, I think it's an incredible idea. They're providing you a Furion rear doorway camera. So if you do have some uh, precious toys that you're going to be hauling in the back garage area here, while you're cruising down the road, you can see or monitor those toys. You know, last thing you want to have is you show up, you know, 10 hours away to your campsite and then find out that your $20,000 motorcycle has been upset along the road. So at least that'll give you the peace of mind and the confidence that many people are looking for. Now, another unique thing about this garage is Grand Design fully insulates their garage spaces, which means the flooring is insulated along with the sidewalls, of course, the ceiling up top here, but then also the rear door is insulated. There are many brands that are out there that don't fully insulate this space, and it really does feel like a garage when it comes time to maintaining temperatures. I think uh, Grand Design does a good job of keeping an even keel temp throughout the entire RV, whether you're back here or all the way up front in the bedroom. Now, directly in front of me are the so popular three season garage doors. Uh, these are screens that you can have open just as I do today. It's beautiful outside, it's 50 degree weather, and I'm getting a great cross breeze coming through. Now tonight, if I didn't wanna have those screens open, there are sliding glass panels that go up that will of course keep a lot of that temperature out. And of course, any of the rainwater that may come along here later this afternoon that we're expecting. Now, these do open up and swing out of the way when it comes time for you loading up your toys, but I'm gonna go ahead and slide out back here to the most popular area that everyone is always asking about. So this is your rear tailgate package. You've got your door suspended up in the air with some nice secure railing going all the way around the back half here. And then even up top, you have your own awning space that'll come out and protect you while you're hanging out back here on this patio. This is a great space to be able to enjoy, especially if you have pets. I mean, I can imagine my dog would be back here hanging out, soaking up some sun. Now, the uh, capacities of this, because people tend to always ask, when this is suspended in the air, you're going to have a 1,000 pound or 1,500 pound maximum capacity. So I just want to show you what the rest of the garage space looks like from the outside entering in. To the left there, you're going to notice you have a washer and dryer prep. You have your own entrance and exit door. This is great for if you had a long day outside getting dirty, you can come into the garage and clean off rather than tracking it inside to that beautiful living room slash kitchen area. And then even up and overhead, the people that are staying back here have their own smart TV. Now, I haven't talked anything about HVAC. This Momentum has three air conditioners up top on the roof. You've got one back here in the garage, which is an option. Out here in the living space, you're going to have an overhead air conditioner there, which this one has the optional heat pump already installed, which is going to provide electric heat overhead through the air conditioner uh, rather than utilizing the 40,000 BTU furnace inside. Now, up and overhead here in the bedroom, you have your third and final Coleman Mach air conditioner. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the AC because it's very unique compared to a lot of other brands. When you're purchasing a high-end luxury fifth wheel like this, you would expect that all three of these air conditioners would be ducted through uh, all together. Meaning, if I'm running the front air conditioner in the bedroom, it's going to actually push AC all the way back here to the garage space and vice versa. Now, there are a lot of cheap or lesser expensive manufacturers that are out there, and that's okay because there needs to be a certain price point for everyone, where in the either bedroom or back here in the garage, they're going to do what they call a drop-in air conditioner, which means instead of it being ducted all the way through, instead it's going to dump a lot of AC all down in the area that it's in. 
So that's a good thing and a bad thing. Number one, they're very noisy, but number two, they're just not quite as efficient. This is extremely efficient. Uh, it's almost installed like what they call a racetrack ducting system. This stuff's gonna be flying through the ceiling along with the extra insulation that Grand Design has to offer. This is going to be the coolest coach during the summertime and the warmest one during the winter time. They have R40 insulation up top on the roof, same way down in the flooring, and then they have R11 insulation here on the sidewalls, making this the quietest coach that's going to be within the campground so the 395 has a dry weight of about 16,200 pounds and you have a gross vehicle weight of 20,000 pounds which means you can load up nearly 3,800 pounds worth of stuff inside of here before you are considered overloaded so you have some fancy led light strips on the front cap and down below, you have some LED pod lights so you can easily see what you're doing while hooking up at nighttime. They're using the Rhino pin box here. And then up front, this is the best part about it. You have a Cummins Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. That's gonna give you the ability to run two and maybe even three air conditioners with those soft start compressors in the AC all at one time. Now, up inside of here, you're going to notice you have some hydraulic fluid. This is the M-Class, and what comes with the M-Class are hydraulic auto-leveling along with hydraulic slides on the two main slide-outs. Now, inside of here, you're going to see um, all the hydraulic lines coming off. Those are all very easily traceable to each jack along with each slide-out. Uh, this does have just one deep cycle, 12-volt, uh, group 24 size battery. And then up and overhead, you have an LED light that is motion sensor. So if you open this thing up at nighttime, you're going to be able to see what you're doing. Uh, sharing with you earlier that this is pre-wired to add solar up top on the roof. Uh, right there is an area that's ran right up top there to allow you to do so. And then up and overhead, you've got a little white box back inside of there. That is your manual override for the Schwintech slide out that's located up front in your bedroom space. So many of you like to see the sticker on the sidewall here. So here it is for those of you that want to check it out. So on the off door side, you're going to notice you have a 30 pound propane tank. There's two of them on here, equaling up to 60 pounds in total. And then here is your all in one convenience center. Before we get to some of those valves inside, I just want to point out, these are the controls for your auto leveling system. Uh, again, this is hydraulic driven. You've got an auto level function here. You even have a hitch height feature, which means when you're done camping and you're ready to hook back up, you can click hitch height. It's gonna return all the rear jacks up and it's gonna return the front jacks to the spot at which you had disconnected from your towing vehicle. Lots of good stuff there and we will show you how to operate that all properly while you come and pick up your new coat. So here's your Nautilus P4 water system. You're gonna be able to fill your fresh water tank from out here. You'll be able to winterize and sanitize very easily from here. Just tons of cool features and functions. And then down here to the right, you have a black tank flush for the main bathroom off of the master suite. Overhead, you have an outside shower. So if you're coming back from a sandy day at the beach, you can spray off your feet without getting everything inside all dirty. Now this also has an auxiliary fresh water tank. I believe you have nearly a hundred gallons of fresh water that you can bring with you with this model, which means you could go out for a week or two weeks and just simply live off of the land. Uh, it already has its own built-in water filter. And then one of my most favorite parts are all of your drain valves are located very nicely inside here. I don't have to climb underneath of the RV to drain out my black and gray tank. And then same way with the low point drains. You have a hot line here and you have a cold line back in behind there. So normally you'd have to climb underneath and drain those out. It's all right there. So here's where you'd plug in your 50 amp electrical cord. This is the back of your furnace. And this is either a 10 or a 12 gallon gas and electric water heater. And then down below, you've got the exhaust for your generator. So this model came equipped with 17 and a half inch Cooper H rated tires. These are a 16 ply tire that hold 125 PSI worth of nitrogen. 
This is like a tractor trailer tire. So I don't want to hear anybody complaining about China bombs with these ones here. Now, if you also notice, you've got CRE 3000 Moride suspension. This is going to provide you an inch or two of travel in either direction, just allowing a smoother ride when you're pulling this massive fifth wheel. So I just want to stand back and give you a visual. This is what your new fifth wheel would look like sitting in the campground. So the next thing I want to point out is the fact that you have your own fuel source on the coach, which means there's two fuel tanks we can fill up. One feeds directly to the generator. It's the one here on the left. And then the one here on the right would fill up your auxiliary fuel tank in the back, which means you could bring your own gasoline with you and fill up your toys if you're way out in the middle of nowhere. And I know some of you are gonna ask about it, but I did wanna point out, this does come along with an additional black tank flush for the optional half bathroom that's back there in the garage. So the M-Class gives us the zero gravity assist rear ramp door, which means if I try and pick up that rear door, it's going to help itself close, not straining my back. So this model has four awnings on the exterior. You've got one off the back, one right here, another one right off of this slide out, and then there's one up and in front of that, which means they've got you covered outside. Now, another piece of the M class is you have frameless windows. Aesthetically, they just look better, but then also too, you don't get the normal streaking like what you'd expect, uh, like what some of these framed in windows have here. So here on the awning or door side, You've got that main awning right up and overhead. You've got four solid steps to enter and exit of your RV, along with a massive grab assist handle. Not only are these great and solid steps, but they also are assisted just like the rear ramp tailgate. So you can easily close them with just a finger. Now on the slide, they're talking about three things here. They're telling you about those laminated slide boxes I was telling you about. It's got a three year structural warranty and you have one key that operates everything which means you no longer have to fumble around for that right key. Now, back there on the slide, in that little compartment area, there is an exterior TV. And then this model even has the Rockford Fosgate speakers. Those are a very premium, high output speaker system that I'm so gonna go ahead and finish up our tour. You've got an outside spray port. Up and above that is an outlet. And here is your itty bitty storage. Inside there, you've got the bag to your central vacuuming system. To the right is a battery disconnect. You've got a motion sensor light here. And down below, this is prepped for a tire pressure monitoring system. And the last thing, if you did decide you wanted to add that satellite up on the roof, there's the access channel to go right up there. So I hope you all enjoyed my tour. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and smash that subscribe button.